Hello. Today's lesson is about a limit. And this uh, question is from uh, uh, calculus. So you are given this limit and you want to find what is the uh, answer. When you see, oh, oh, well, this is the solution, but the question is only this part. The, this is the question. What is this equal to? When you see a square root minus another square root, and you want to take the limit, the usual way is to multiply this factor. Now, look at this factor. This is the numerator and the denominator are the same. So this factor is actually 1. You multiply this by 1, you do not change anything. But this is a special uh, type of uh, a fraction. The numerator is very similar to this numerator, except the minus becomes plus. We multiply the two numerators, and you will notice this is A minus B multiply A plus B. What is A minus B in bracket? Multiply another bracket A plus B. What is the result? Remember this formula. A minus B times A plus B is the difference of two squares. Is A squared minus B squared. Because of this relation, so we multiply this numerator with this numerator, you get A squared minus b squared. When you square root, uh, when you square a square root, the square root disappears. So multiply this with that, you get this, no more square root, minus this, no more square root. And the denominator is h times this. h times this. Remove the brackets. x minus x is gone. Minus 5 plus 5, 5 is gone. I only have H here. So I only have H. And then this H cancels the H in the denominator. So I only have 1 divided by that. This is what I have after multiplication of the two numerators and after simplification, and after cancel the H, I get this. Now, I am ready to do the limit operation. The limit is H goes to zero. So I have an H in the denominator. So I make this H zero, then this becomes X minus five, X minus five. The two terms are identical square root x minus 5. So I have square root x minus 5 plus another square root x minus 5. So you add them up, I get 2 
times square root x minus 5, and this part is in the denominator, and the numerator is 1. This is my final result. Do you follow? The most important step is to multiply a factor which is 1, but I change this to plus sign, and I'm going to use the formula, the difference of two squares, a minus b times a plus b. In this way, the two square roots will be cancelled or will disappear, and then everything can be simplified. So that's the idea. So this is the answer to a question raised by my student. So I hope uh, you have no difficulty following this. Goodbye. See you next lesson.